I redesigned dwarves. Now, this doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the classic fantasy dwarf, but for what I want with my world, I just feel like I could push it a little further. It falls under the human butt category of design, where it's just a human with a few little tweaks to make it different. Now again, there's nothing wrong with character designs like these, but here are some examples. Take a human, taller, buff, and green with tusks, that's an orc. Hotter, rude, and long ears, that's an elf. Uh, short with big feet, that's a halfling. Short with pointy ears, gnome. Make it green and chaotic, you got a goblin. And short, beard, and alcoholic, that's a dwarf. Now, for my dwarves, I wanted to keep the essence of dwarves, so it still reads as one. So no matter what, we are keeping the beard and the big nose. This redesign didn't happen in one day. I have tried to redesign them for a while now, so let's go through the earlier versions. First, we have the very grubby version. I got the idea from one version of Norse creation myth, where dwarves were created from the maggots in Ymir's corpse. So I took that very literally and just made them, well, not maggots, more grubs, like, but you get the idea. This also meant that they had a beetle version that would serve as guards and soldiers. Then I moved away from the grub shape a little bit, but still kept a lot of the essence of grub, but eh, it just didn't feel right. Then it developed further in this version. I wanted to show more of the aspects that they were created somehow, designed with purpose, and I tried to get that across by having everything slot nicely into each other, like the arms having their own slots and stuff, but that didn't really do a good job of showing that idea. Either way, this version had a beetle form that I quite liked, uh, has some samurai armor influence. But still, I felt there was a lot of untapped potential in the dwarfs being created by some higher being, so the next version I pushed that a lot further and made them look like mechanical creatures, still with blood and organs, but an exoskeleton that looks manufactured. I liked the way this was going, but I sort of left it at that and moved on to other things instead. Though now, I think I have fresher ideas that could help revive this concept. My idea was to take bits I like of all the previous versions and combine them all together. A little bit of insectoid, with metallic outer exoskeleton, and everything slots nicely together. I sketched some concepts in my book and found this really nice humanoid design that fit into a jar shape, but like I said, I kept the big nose and beard to make sure the dwarfness isn't lost. They also carve patterns into their metallic skin and sometimes inlay gold into the grooves. I will write more lore videos about them soon because this video is more focused on their design but know that I am working on more in-depth videos about them in the future. I decided to make a turnaround of the final design and also put it on a nice page with text. The text does have some lore, a written encounter with the dwarves at the market, which I will read just because. All dwarves smoke a substance called grot, and often indulge in drinking as well. They ask others to join their drink and smoke, and enjoy watching them horribly fail at handling them. I myself couldn't resist their eager requests for me to join. Their drink was consumed through a cup shaped like a smoking pipe. You are to quickly suck up the drink like a shot. As I did, the flavors hit me like a brick wall, spicy, peppery, floral, and funky nodes all overwhelming. I had a coughing fit immediately as it burned its way down, and my fellow drinking partners seemed incredibly amused by this. For the rest of my journey into their caverns, my head felt hot and I had trouble focusing. This was meant to just show their character a little, how open and welcome they are to people experiencing their culture, even though it's also for their own amusement. Anyway. That's all for the dwarf redesign for now. Maybe I'll redesign some other classic fantasy races. What race do you think I should redesign next? You can put it in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video, and see you in the next one.